Hey there. So I've talked to a lot of you on LinkedIn about different ways that you can make things easier for your customers and also for your Salesforce uh, organization with things like leads and duplicate records and making portals, just ways to make Salesforce a little bit easier for uh, the people who interact with it, um, not just internally, but also your customers. Uh, and one of the things that keeps coming up is uh, duplicate leads in your systems. So I just wanted to show everyone a, a really easy fix for that uh, using Titan. And um, I'm going to start making these videos. So if you could comment, you know, with some of your use cases and scenarios you want to see, I'd love to uh, to try to make them into videos as well and, and show you guys how to do it. Um, and uh, all right, so let's get started. All right, so this is the Titan form builder. And what I want to do today is just build a really, really simple uh, lead form. So what we're going to do is just take a couple text boxes and put them onto our layout here. I'm just going to copy and paste a couple times. And let's do like this. Let's go, um, okay, let's do first name. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's do first name. Last name. Company, because we need that for leads. Email and phone number. And um, let's make the last name, let's make that mandatory. Let's make company mandatory and email mandatory so that we get uh, a good entry into our Salesforce. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our push to Salesforce. So we go over here to Salesforce integration and we set our push. So we're gonna add an object. That object's gonna be a lead because we wanna create a lead here. And the action is going to be update because we want to actually check it against our system. So we're going to do update and we're going to set the condition that we're going to base everything off the email. So if the email is in our system, uh, it's not going to create a new lead. It's just going to actually uh, skip over that, but it will update any information there that, that the user changed. So let's just, so if multiple matches take ID from the first and if not found any match, let's create it. Okay. And now we're just gonna map our fields. So real quick, last name, it's gonna go with the, the last, first, first, company. And what else do we have? We had phone and email. Great, apply and finish. Let's publish this form, let's test it out. Okay, so we're going to do Ben Miller, the company will be Titan, and the email, let's do benm at formtitan.com. And for now, we'll just leave the phone blank, and when we go back in and update this, we'll, uh, we'll fix that. Okay, so now let's go over to our integration logs, and let's see how we did. So you can see here that a lead was created, and here's the record ID. So now it's going to take me to that record in Salesforce. And here's the record ID. There's all the info that I put in. Move my face over here. And you see, I didn't put in a phone number. So now what I want to do is I actually want to go back into this form that I just made and let's change some of the info and see what happens. Okay, and we're going to put in that same, that same email address. And now let's do a phone number. Click Submit. Go to our integration logs, and now you see over here it actually updated that same record. So instead of creating a second uh, a second lead in Salesforce, what we did is we actually ended up going in and updating that record. So this is great because we didn't duplicate the lead in Salesforce. We didn't create a new record, but unknowingly the person who came back that second time they actually just uh, added in some new information. We actually improved our data collection in Salesforce, um, and that's. Uh, that's how it's done for for this uh, for this particular use case. And um, what I'd love to hear from you guys is other ideas that you have of things you'd like to see uh, done in Titan, customer facing things, things for internal users as well. And please reach out to me for a demo. And uh, after that demo, I'll give, be able to give you a free trial of the platform without any limits. 
and uh, would love to see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching.